Libby and I are at Harry Potter the Cursed Child. I got myself a little $13 frozen apple cider and unreal dark chocolate peanut butter cups. We're downstairs, the lighting is bad. I think it's a three and a half hour show. I have no idea what the show is about, but I'm so excited for all of it. So it almost has like a like a caramely taste, but then I taste the apple at the end. Maybe something like butter Try it. Yeah, it's like butter beer, yep. It's really dark. How's it taste? Ooh. Right, it is caramely at the end. It's like caramely, and then like, oh, I got a brain freeze now. I like it. We're here. I don't know how much till the show starts. We have like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Perfect timing. We got tacos. We got here in time. Ah, oh, such a joyous day. <laughs> we are back from the show without giving away too much. It was interesting. Definitely not what I expected. And we saw a few um, items break. Just finished a, another Broadway show that I just watched. I watched Aladdin with my friend Kai. Amazing. Best one I've seen yet here in New York. And actually, we'll say, Singing was better than Wicked. Tomorrow I have work. I gotta wake up super, super early. I have no idea where this video is even beginning or ending. Um, last thing I remember, I watched the Harry Potter show. And yeah, a few weeks later I did this one. I actually got these tickets through the Broadway lottery. So it's definitely been a while, but I'm currently on my way to the Lion King musical on Broadway. Um, I know I've been kind of MIA, did a few different things, but right now I got these tickets off the Broadway lottery. So I'm heading to the box office right now to claim my tickets. They didn't send me an email, so it said if you didn't get an email with your tickets, go to the box office a little earlier, pick up your tickets. So I'm doing that now, but I would love to get some food. I was actually trying to do some cute little space buns here. My hair wasn't cooperating for the buns, so now you get pigtails. Look how cute my little outfit is. I just got this dress. Kind of. Um, it's like the one printed item that I have. And yeah, I thought it was fitting to wear to the show. These seats are pretty good. I'm in a center orchestra. And the show should start in about like 30 minutes or so. <laughs> I just finished Lion King and oh my goodness, it was such an amazing show. I was just blown away. The stage, the young Nala and the young Simba singing. Oh my God. Like they can really sing. The whole cast and crew was just so talented. And the stage, the stage effects. I was just blown away of like, what different things that this stage was doing. Yeah, it's probably one of my top ones so far. This is probably my fourth Broadway show or show in New York in like maybe two months. I watched, what did I watch? I watched Harry Potter and then a few weeks after I watched Aladdin and then Lion King. And then maybe like three or four months before that, I watched Wicked. So 
four total Broadway shows here in New York. My favorite musical would be We Will Rock You, which I watched in London years ago, probably 2007, question mark. But that one still tops it. The singing was amazing. Um, yeah, so I had won these tickets from the Broadway lottery. All you have to do, well, what I did, is I Googled Broadway lottery, I clicked the first link, and then you just drop down your name, your phone number, and email, and then usually it closes at like three or something and then by the time it's like six you find out if you won or not or if you're selected once you're selected you have an hour to purchase your ticket depending on what the show is it's anywhere around from a 30 dollars to a ticket and i want to say wicked is like 45 but it was like wicked lion king aladdin michael jackson tina turner maybe one other one they change. I don't know. I was actually put on standby for this one. And then um, maybe like minutes later, I got an email saying that I was selected. So yeah, I purchased it. I requested two of them. And I have no friends to come with me to see it. And so once you request it two, like you have to purchase the two. You can't just purchase one. Uh, I asked a few of my friends, uh, Mal, Chaz, Libby, were all busy, they're working or tired. <laughs> so I went by myself, which was fine. The only negative that I have to say about the show was that there was like this little family, family of two, that was sitting right next to me. And you know, kids will be kids, but this little girl was just chatting away like chatty Kathy talking to her mom her mom was talking back the entire time and they just would not stop talking everyone around them was like shushing them telling them to be quiet and then to the point where like the seat attendant was like you guys need to keep it down but they were like full-blown having conversations and I'm like listen pipe down <laughs> but I don't know what my next show is, but I will definitely do it. So this month, I did a few other things. Maybe I'll throw them in here. Yeah. Good morning. So it's been quite a few weeks since I last vlogged. Um, and to be honest, it was because one, I wasn't doing anything really. And two, I got a really bad sinus infection that lasted me like two weeks it was horrible I was actually even traveling at the time I was absolutely miserable I was so stuffed and congested um, there was like so much pressure in my forehead I haven't had anything like it before I don't really usually get sick but yeah it was like I was completely fine no temperature no COVID um, just a sinus infection it was horrible anyways I'm in Vegas I'm hanging out with a few of my friends, um, Mel, Chaz, and one of their friends, Shelly. But I just wanted to quickly pop on here because for Christmas, Nick got me the Ariana Grande palette. <laughs> Not sure which one I got, but I asked for it. But yeah, I'll definitely put it down below. But I wanted to open it with you guys. I got it for Christmas and I hadn't been home all Christmas, all of January. I want to say I got this physically in my hands at the end of January. I like unboxed it at my sister's house. I wanted to do it on the camera. Some of you guys may care. Some of you may not, just skip through. But anyways, it came in a box and then tissue paper and then it was wrapped in tissue paper. So this is my first time opening it. It's been in my suitcase for weeks, but so I'm opening it up and cute. Cute little packaging. Oh, okay, cool. So this one is Midnight Shadows Eyeshadow Palette. This is in Baby Doll. It says create your own vivid illusion with this mix of cool toned mattes and shimmers 
you can wear from daylight to midnight. REM Beauty, um, eight grams or 0.28 ounces. It says recycle. Packaging made with post-consumer recycled materials. All right. And she is difficult to open. All right, cool, cool, cool. Has a cute little notch here. <laughs> cute, so it's like silverish. I'm, I'm not a beauty influencer, but anyways, for those of you that care, I'm late to the game. Oh yeah. And I'm totally gonna play with this right now. We're actually, me and my friends are gonna go out to have brunch. Um, again, I'm like still getting ready. These eyeliners are probably lopsided and not matching. But you know what? Let me just throw on some shades just so you guys can see. I did also buy on um, online one morning on Impulse some eye cream. I just received it yesterday, so I can't really tell you much about it, but this is how my eyes look now. Um, I honestly just Googled best eye cream on Google and went to the first site that says top five or top eight eye creams and I chose the first one. Is it a reliable source? I don't know, but did I buy it? Yes. So this one is called Nourish Max Eye Cream Diamond Extract. Again, don't know too much about it. I honestly just picked the first one. Uh, on the reviews on the page, it had nothing but good reviews. And then on the cons, the only con that it had was that it's always sold out because of high demand. So I bought it. It was on sale. I think I bought it for like $65 plus tax or whatever it was, came out to like 70, a little steep, but I really needed some eye cream. Yeah, and this is it. Has a little cute diamond on top, has a cute little cover, and yeah, it's odorless. I used some last night, it's white, or it looks white, whoa, I almost dropped it would have been sad. It's white, but it, you know, goes on clear. And yeah, let's try some of this palette. Let's dip right into it. Again, I am no beauty influencer. Never was. <clears throat> oh, this is a Morphe. I have no idea what this is. I think I got this in a set. It's Morphe, it's old. I have no mirror, so that's cool. All right, so I'm going in with this like <clears throat> base shade. Mm. Again, no idea what I'm doing. I think the last time I put on any type of eye makeup, was like two years ago. And I just don't bother to put any on for work or on the daily, even though like it's outside of the mask. I just don't do it. Okay, now I'm going in with this peachy toned one. I think I'm just gonna use these three because I'm lazy. So I did the base. I'm just gonna use the same brush. <laughs> I'm gonna use this peachy toned one. And yeah. Okay, now I'm using the Hourglass number three brush. This is like ages. I have don't even know if they sell this. I'm gonna just go in with that bronzy color. Um, but I also did the Broadway Lottery. And I won, well, my first try, I will it. I won tickets to Aladdin and I went with my friend Kai from California. She was in my last video. <clears throat> that one was really good. I was a big fan of Aladdin. The singing was amazing. The Aladdin was tall, like, you know, it was nothing against it. 
but he was tall. It was just interesting to see a very, very tall Aladdin. He at least had to be like six, eight. He was tall. Okay. You really can't see anything. Wow. But whatever. Um, do I like it? Yeah. I'm really excited to actually wear this makeup, but again, I gotta run. Throw on some lashes. I look tired. I came in to Vegas last night at midnight. Um, so that was three o'clock New York time. I hung out with my friends for a little. They went out to get pizza. I did not join because they got pizza with cheese. And I don't eat pizza with cheese. I try not to eat any dairy. Um, so when they left, I went to the gym. And then by that time I was finished, it was like three o'clock or something. And yeah, I didn't get any sleep because my body clock usually wakes up around like eight o'clock Eastern time. That was like five o'clock here. So after the gym, I showered. Yeah, did not sleep. I'm gonna basically have to power through tonight because I'm going back to New York and then I'll be in California for a whole week. Uh, I will be in my hometown for like maybe like a few days, but then I'm gonna be in Anaheim, California uh, for the weekend working um, on an event in Anaheim the ACC Convention Center, working on an event, and yeah, I will not get enough sleep there either because I'll be working day in, day out. And yeah, okay, I really need to go, okay. See ya. This is the outfit for the day. I'm wearing the same dress I wore to the Lion King musical. It's just what I have in my suitcase, so whatever. It's clean. I wear it. Denim jacket, because I don't know if it's cold. Some boots. Let's go! Edamomic walk. Wow. I was not expecting that. What are these guys? The dark guys. Edamomic. Matcha. Horchata. So good. This matcha horchata, life changing. It's so good. I'm just gonna sit there, live there. Yeah, we're eating first. Where's it good? Can I have this? Um, I was expecting like, <laughs> it's just like a quinoa burger, right? Wow, the lighting is bad. I got this light. <laughs> Um, just so it's easier to see me when it's a little darker, but I did a thing. Impulse buy. Also, it's my birthday coming up, so I guess it's like happy birthday to myself. If you want, you can Venmo me some money because now I feel so guilty. It's at Antonia Maurice, my name. But anyways, I made a purchase at Dior. We're going to do this unboxing together. Um, Dior red packaging and look how cute the uh, embossing is of the little heart so you know Valentine's Day packaging so cute um, tissue paper oh. uh, the receipt it's in the it's in a dark blue like the Dior blue color C563 size 58 called the hat hat bob uh retail is 790 plus tax it came out to 856 16 again i'm not bragging but a lot of people you know want to know how much it is and it comes in a white drawstring little canvas bag gray writing whatever but this is she it's blue. I don't know if it's picking up the color, but it's dark blue. Um, I actually wanted to get the this bathing suit I've been wanting. I don't know, just like the regular bikini that they had. It looked 
cheap. I was not very impressed with the quality of the bathing suit, but there was this, um, there was this high-waisted bathing suit that I've been dying to get my hands on. Can't find it anywhere. They only had it in a size medium, and I want to say I'm in an extra small or a medium. I mean, extra small or a small. They didn't have it there. They said only Beverly Hills. So it's dark blue. It's reversible. I'm most definitely going to wear it this way <laughs> because the branding might as well. Uh, but yeah. Comes with this tag, Christian Dior, size 58. Tag, Israel. No fake stuff here. But got this cute little hat I'm ready to go on vacation or to Greece, Tahiti, walking around New York. Summer hat for sure. And also, I guess I don't feel too bad buying it because for the bathing suit, you know, it's only if you go to the beach or the pool that you can wear it. But this, at least, you know, I can walk around New York traipsing around. That's even the right word. Um, summertime. Summertime hat. I'm not a hat person at all. <laughs> I almost wanted to get the 57, but she said it would be like too tight and start, start billowing. Um, but yeah, I kind of like it a little more now. I was very... I was, I got buyer's remorse immediately. I like bought it and when I go shopping, I'm like, if I see it and they have it, I just buy it right away because there's times like, you know, when are they ever going to have it in stock? So I just bought it. <laughs> it's cute, right? And, uh, the material, it's almost like a, like a satin finish. It's, I, I don't even know what the fabric is. Let's see. Oh, polyester. <laughs> Uh, polyester, 53% cotton, and polyurethane. But, you know, I'm very happy with the quality of it a lot. Let's see how it looks. Just blue. It's cute, right? Tell me I'm not crazy. Oh, even that's cute. Like, it's not as, like in your face. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, okay, but yeah, um, I really, really love this here. Just like the packaging, very impressed with it. This is my first purchase from Dior, believe it or not. First purchase from Dior and it will not be my last. This is a definitely happy birthday to me. My birthday is next month. I have already been celebrating. We're celebrating all month. It's on March 8th is my birthday. I am a Pisces. And yeah, if you wanna help your girl out, get me a drink. If you wanna help your girl out, get me a drink. Venmo me. They're, I mean, obviously quality, I can't really tell. The tissue paper has their like logo in it. Yeah, so I got this at Bellagio. Oh, shout out to Tina. Didn't know her name was Tina. She didn't introduce herself at all. Tax was 8.37. I should have just bought it in New York. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Ooh, I'm so <laughs> <laughs> I think I weigh way more than you said. We made them. I am 
I'm back in my hotel room. I'm gonna take a quick nap before I head to the airport. After I came back with uh, from the Las Vegas trip, I met up with one of my friends from my other job, Greg. Haven't seen him in honestly, I think five years. Uh, last time I saw him was working at a camp in Santa Cruz and it was his last camp but that was the last time I saw him and I've actually been to Vegas a few times and every time I'd like uh, message him but our schedules just didn't align up but today we finally got to meet we went to downtown Las Vegas kind of like by Fremont Street we ate at this place called Park and it was so amazing. I had the the garbage fries. I had the vegan garbage fries. And Greg had the regular garbage. <laughs> uh, the only difference was his had meat and egg in it. Don't know what meat it was. And then mine had just tons and tons of onions. It had onions vegan cheese, jalapenos, tomatoes, or like pico de gallo, and french fries. And the french fries were like strips of the, the potato and not like actual like, you know, single fry. Mine was okay. As many of you may know, I don't like onions. So I was like scraping it all off. It was probably like 60% onions. I should have just got the nachos, whatever. So now I'm gonna quickly take a like 15 minute power nap. I have not slept. And yeah, I'm taking this red eye back to New York and then going to California for a week.